the Joe Rogan experience. What they That's want the is money. You know, I was reading the thing about the head of Google, and he makes you know something like two million bucks a year. But if he hits these performance goals over the next three years, he stands to rake in two hundred and forty million dollars in stock. Jesus. And I was like, well, no wonder why they're ruthless. No wonder why yeah. they make these. Dis- no wonder why they take down the slogan "Don't be evil." That yeah. was their slogan. Was don't be Google's Jesus slogan was don't Christ. be evil. Yep. And then they go like, what about for two hundred forty million dollars? Be a little evil. Get a little evil. They've been, they start let's get a little about, evil. They couple start babies. thinking about fucking <laughs> tailored suits yeah, and private man. jets and it's hard, champagne right? and ah. good, good fat people. diamond rings. Yeah, good people will behave corruptly. That's what happens in Washington. It's just about Lawrence, numbers. Lawrence Lessig said Washington has become a special interest cesspool where good people, if you want to get ahead, you got to figure out a way to be. Good people must behave corruptly because it's an economy of influence. But not all of them, though. No, not all of them. No. Because if they were all corrupt, there would be no reason to suicide anybody. No, there would be true. no reason to bribe anybody. There's good people in there. Yes. If you fuck up, someone's willing to kill a motherfucker just to avoid jail. You don't have to kill There's always anymore. good people. You just have to figure out which who are the good people. You don't Whoa. have to kill people anymore. Do you, you think Kevin Spacey is killing people? What, uh, didn't Epstein just uh, commit suicide? Do you think Kevin Spacey's killing people? No. Did you see that new video that came out right before the dude suicided himself that accused him of grabbing his dick? Oh, yeah. Isn't it four so people kill now? Is it four? Ki- kill him with kindness. Come on, man. Oh, really? And he's doing it as Frank Underwood. You haven't seen it? No. Oh, my God. And, then, and then the guy committed suicide scary. like a week later, right? Yeah. Dude, that's what I'm talking about. <clears throat> this shit's going on and no one gives a fuck. Well, you know, Epstein you know, you know, you know, nobody gives a fuck. People. You don't have to kill people. Well, Epstein. You don't have to. Sure you do. No, no, no. You just, you just destroy their reputation. But Epstein, you can do that, too. Brian, slow down. If your reputation is already destroyed, though, like Kevin Spacey, and there's a guy claiming that you grabbed his dick, might be a good idea to kill him. Watch this a little bit. Give me some volume. He just doesn't want to go to prison, dude. Look at this. That's all. Look, we got to avoid prison. Look at this. Hold on. It's been a pretty good year, and I'm grateful to have my health back. <laughs> and in light of that, I've made some changes in my what life. What a psycho. Life. Dude, he's MK Ultra. You think so? You walk into 20 <laughs> this. If this ain't MK Ultra, it doesn't shit. More good in this world. Ah, yes. I know what you're thinking. Can he be serious? I'm dead serious. And it's not that hard, trust me. The next time someone does something you don't like, you can go on the attack, but you can also hold your fire and do the unexpected. You can kill them with kindness. Whoa, dude, he put that out, and everyone is cool. It's Everyone's cool. Week, oh, he's, he's such a good he's actor. Dead. He's, he's me, such a good he's actor. He's not a killer. He didn't kill this. You don't know the guy died anybody. next I never week, said though, he Brian. He died, he died a few days later. Did you hear what he just said? And do you know what he's in the middle of? That's not, it's not like. Hold on, Eddie. Let me it's ask a Brian. Hold time on, hold on, but, Spacey hold right on. Now. Before we. Hey, B. Maybe do you, the hold guy, on. Maybe hold on. killed himself dude, the after he watched that video. <laughs> hey, B, like, do you think Epstein. Like a defense attorney. Do you think Epstein was uh, committed suicide or was murdered? I don't know what Epstein. Shut the fuck up. I, I think defense that. Defense attorney. I, I, I totally believe he, he would kill himself. Why would he want to be alive? Where is he going to go? I mean, his life You're is right. ruined. You think he You're committed right. suicide? It's very possible, yeah. How many guys from Kevin Spacey? Well, what are you uh, showing me, Jamie? What's going on? <clears throat> December 26th? Yeah, that video was posted on the 24th. Dude, Rolling yeah, Stone days later, posted that shit. Himself. But here's the thing, though. That means the guy saw it for two days. So for two days, he probably on a loop watched this video, this guy who grabbed his dick. Yeah. He's like, why didn't I just punch him? Ah, uh, bang. Yeah. But, but he right. committed suicide because he grabbed his dick? He said but that Kevin Spacey more issues than that. grabbed his dick and said, let's go outside and get some air. And now, that's it? Yes, I'm I don't sure approve yeah. it, but Look, I'm just saying he lived saying. a whole other life yeah. outside of getting 100%. his dick grabbed by yeah. Kevin Spacey. 100%. A lot of yeah. people kill themselves that never got their dick grabbed sure. by Kevin Spacey. Correct. But Some the would thing celebrate is, that. the thing is, this guy killed himself two days after Kevin Spacey released that video. That's That's tough. Tough. That's it tough. could easily just be a coincidence. It could easily be that the type of guy that Kevin Spacey grabs their dick, they're probably not doing so good in the first place. Well, that wasn't he super too. young when he grabbed that dick? Well, that's. Uh, I don't know. This is a different one. There's many There's stories. There's a few There's, yeah, guys. He's, he's he was aggressive dick. with the dick grab. I didn't know he was gay. Here's the thing about it, man. Here's the thing about it. It had to have worked. If he grabbed that many dicks, oh, dude, how you, many dicks you know did he grab that all of a sudden take? these guys are yeah. goggle, goggle, yeah. goggle? Yeah, yeah. It's because they don't know. No. Because everybody's so homophobic. Oh. I blame homophobic people on Kevin Spacey <laughs> out there grabbing dicks. Hey, I, got, I got news for you. I'm you know kidding. Home run, as, as you know how home anime, runs he hit? I got news for you. As much of a monster rapist as Harvey Weinstein is, as much of a fucking piece of shit. Made some good he movies. Got, he, fucked, uh, he fucked a whole lot. That All that, that crazy shit he to. did. Yeah. Yes. That worked. Or that allowed it. Where it was consensual. Oh, these boys took a lot. Swings hit a lot of home runs. Yes. 
Yeah. Hit a lot of home yeah. runs. Yeah, they had their they had their bag of tricks. That's yeah. why Kevin Spacey felt like he could grab dicks because it worked before. Correct. Because there's probably some thrilled heterosexual guy who can't believe he's got Kevin Spacey's cock in his mouth. It's like, oh, I can't What's even tell box? anybody. What's Blah. in the box? Hold on, I can't Hold even on. tell anybody. Excuse me, sir. Blah. Celebrity doesn't cut through your heterosexuality. You understand? It does for a really, be really, really dumb person. I would have kissed. I might have kissed Tom Cruise on the mouth just because I was talking for an hour and a half and I wanted to be his friend so badly. Dude, but that was it. It That's makes the the, if you're really, really dumb, a super smart gay guy could talk you into blowing him. <laughs> How would that go? Jason Momoa could do it. Hold I said on. a bit where I was always, I said I'm always suspicious of bisexuals because every single one of them I've ever met was a moron. <laughs> and I have a theory that I don't believe is really bisexual. I think there's gay dudes and then there's really gullible straight dudes <laughs> who get talked into blowing crafty gay dudes. <laughs> Damn, that's you got a down word for word. That's a great joke. Dude, that was, dude, it's that's, like, that's a great there's, joke. There's some dudes you can fucking talk into anything. And then all of a sudden, like, I'm bi. Like, yeah, <laughs> Tom, Tom says I'm bi. Sucking dick, dude. Yeah. I'm like, I don't know, bro. Sure, man. I don't know. I'm just man. obviously just kidding. There's definitely, there's definitely bi people. <laughs> Look, there's a spectrum. If there's people that don't, there's people that are asexual. They don't give a fuck about sex. Well, there sex. are guys, yeah. This, this a friend of mine knew a guy who, who would be like, I'll fuck it. I'll fuck anybody. And yeah, Frank listen. Goes, so what are you talking about? He goes, show me the money. You put money on the table, there's not a, there's not a man or a woman I wouldn't fuck. Yeah, but that's <laughs> money. I mean, like, that's, gay, that guy's yeah. a whore. Yeah, well, that guy's a sociopath. He he he's care. just a high level he let, whore. And he also yeah, said, and I'll, let it, and I'll let anybody fuck me. Okay. Oh, that guy's name was Dan. Brian Callen. Same price. Hey, 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 he was hey, the same college. price. <laughs> but he, but he, but I was in college, guys. What costs more? <laughs> I needed the money. But what costs more? Getting fucked or fucking someone? Because if you fuck someone, you got to get it up. Can you text you're him and so ask hard, him? You're so hard. I don't care if you fuck me. Get, Go ahead. Dude. Getting yeah, fucked. Guys. No, you want to you want to fuck me? That's another two hundred. See, hey. but not practically, Brian. <laughs> practically, it'd be hard to fuck a guy. Yeah, like going no condom, another two. I love that. So it's two to That's the lesson to fight. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. <laughs> What would be <laughs> what would be harder to do? Would it be harder to fuck a guy or get fucked by a guy? Oh, dude, I don't it's think a terrible you question. Get, I don't. It's oh, a terrible question. I don't think one. you should get fucked by a guy unless you're gay. But if you weren't gay, getting fucked be by hard a to guy get up. might be easier. Yeah, I agree. Because yeah, because how are you going to get it up? Right, yeah. you got to get it Open up. Open that and then ass. You got to think and about what you're say, doing. And then people say, "Dude, you had a hard dick. You had a hard dick. You could yes. always say." My dick yes. was soft. He fucked me in the yes. ass. I had to do yeah, it. Yeah, I had to do it. I, I, I know. Just, I, know I don't give a fuck. Go ahead. Fuck. You want to fuck my shit? Shoot. Go ahead, bro. <laughs> I know just a fighter. I know a fighter who will remain nameless, who said, um, he said uh, we were talking about his. He was with his wife, and we were talking about cheating and stuff. And he said, "Tell him, tell him what I do. Uh, tell him what I do." No, his wife goes, "Hey, uh, tell him what uh, you do if you caught me cheating." And he goes, ah. "She goes, no, tell him." And he goes, "Well, you know." I would, uh, there's a reason I have Viagra around, and it's not because I need it for her. And I go, well, do tell. Now I'm all ears. And he goes, well, I would take Viagra, and I would get my dick hard, and I would fuck him in the ass. And that I takes 45 in minutes. In front of her. <laughs> I, whatever. And this I guy's know, a big you know scary dude, too. Yeah, and he's a heavyweight. He's a heavyweight. He knows who it is. And I was just like, you yeah. are amazing. And he was dead serious. I'll tell you who it is next time. That's an interesting way to approach a problem. I bet you could yeah. guess. Yeah. Okay, we'll talk later. Yeah. Very impressive, by the way.